This gameplay is from my clone of Google's Dino game, made entirely with Python and Pygame. The assets and GitHub are in the description, so let's get straight into the video. The first thing I did was gather all of my assets. Luckily, I was able to find a sprite sheet online with everything I needed. I slapped that into Photoshop and exported each sprite individually to my game folder. I also found some sound effects online, so I put those in the game folder as well. Next, I started writing the actual code. I started off with some basic Pygame boilerplate that firstly created the screen and then created the game loop. This is what I had at that point. Now before I made the dinosaur or anything like that, the first thing I did was create the ground, which would always be moving to the left. I used some basic logic that would trick the player into thinking the ground was infinite, but it was actually just getting updated once it went off the screen. As you can see in the code, we are always moving the ground to the left until the X position reaches negative 1280. When it does, we revert the position back to zero. I also created a game speed variable that would control how fast the game went. It would increase on every iteration of the game loop. This is how the game looked after I'd implemented the ground. Next, I added some clouds to mimic the clouds in the actual dinosaur game. At this point, I'd finished the background and I was ready to create the dinosaur. To start out, I made a dino class and drew the dinosaur on the screen. The dino class started with three methods, init, update, and animate. The animate method made the dinosaur look like it was running by cycling through two images of the dinosaur really quickly, and the update method just called the animate method. I would be adding on to the update method later. So here's how the dinosaur running animation looked. After that, I turned my attention to moving the player with the arrow keys. I created logic for jumping and ducking, and you can see the code for that here. When you jump, the player Y position will increase until it gets to a certain point, and when it gets to that point, we are going to go down. And when you duck, the player image is changed to the ducking image and the rect is updated. This is what it looked like. Right now I'm pressing the up key to jump and the down key to duck. After I was done with that, I started working on the obstacles. To start out, I created a class for cacti. The cacti had lots of different images to choose from randomly, which are shown here. Now, as you can see, the game has cacti. After I finished with the cacti, I went ahead and created a pterodactyl class and put the pterodactyls on the screen. They spawn at three different positions up, middle, and down. So, as you can see right now, there are pterodactyls spawning in those three different positions. However, right now I can obviously run straight through all of the obstacles, which is not what I want. To solve this, I checked for a collision with some simple logic. So, as you can see right now, when the dinosaur collides with any obstacle, the screen freezes and we can't continue. Now our basic game is pretty much done. We have the core mechanics done and we can add some final touches. So firstly, I added a score system. The player score would go up every time the game loop was run. The score would be displayed to the screen using the end game function, which I made. I also added some sound effects for jumping, reaching multiples of 100 points, and dying. And when we die, you'll see that it says game over and it displays our score. So yeah, I just wanted to share something I made with you guys, so leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to like the video if you liked it and dislike if you didn't. If you really liked the video and you want to see more tech and programming content related to this, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so that you never miss a new video. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, this has been LarTech, signing out. Have a good day.